Since Farming Simulator 22 has come out, we've had some new viewers. And so for the new viewers out there, we've always done a thing in the past called roleplay. And we want farming to be as realistic as possible, so you literally talk to your neighbors, go get coffee with your neighbors, transact with people. And so we're trying to take Farming Simulation to like a real life scenario called roleplay. So if you guys are new, we're starting from scratch, moving to Iowa, and I'm going to build an American farm with actual American sheds because I finally got American sheds now. So with that being said, our starting tractor is a Case International 7150. We're going with Case. We're switching it up a little bit. Also, there's not too many American John Deere old school mods yet. So I wanted to start with something kind of small, something American. This has the row crop tires, has the spacing correct, has the weights. That's why I went with a Case International. And try something new. I always like these Case Magnums. And then we got a Honda ATV. Yeah, that's what we're starting with. We'll head on down. I got to pick up fuel and then uh, we're going to the new farm I just bought. Oh my gosh, it's busy here. A lot of nice trucks though. Oh, uh, let's see if we can make it. Hey, look, we got two and a half trucks here. Oh, is that this guy, this guy. <laughs> Buck, how you doing? It's... Uh, it's been a minute. That's yeah. all I can say. You know, you two are wearing almost the exact same outfit. Yeah, I noticed that. Someone's been trying to steal some looks. When did you become all Mr. Cold over there, Slim Shady? I'm always, this is the, I, <laughs> if I get called Slim Shady by one more person, I tell you. <laughs> it's comfortable, Buck. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I'm just sticking with tradition and my standard attire. Sad, I can't find my Wilson hat. I've been looking through all my boxes when I moved. I can't find Buck, it. Buck, I think you missed with the razor a little this morning. Nah, there's we'll a little fine. stubble left on the side yet. You'll be fine. Grant, are uh, are you planning on doing some some fencing today? You got the fencing gloves on. What's going on with that? My wife thank loves you. fencing gloves. Oh yeah. Oh, no, I, like, are you? I like that first yeah. gen over there. Well, thank you, Where'd sir. Where'd you pick it up at? Ah, uh, cars for sale. Yep. I love this thing. Well, boys, if you need anything, just give me a call, but I'm going to run over to Mama Joe's Diner real quick. I hear they got a two-for-one special, so. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Be careful I gotta with that. Say, I destroyed I might the toilet to last time. Too. Oh, why is it with you and ruining everybody's <laughs> toilets? Like, can we get an explanation on that one, please? Yeah, I don't know. I think you should talk to your doctor, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, I got I to gotta roll out. We're building the farm today, putting up buildings, everything. Sounds good, oh. amigo. If you need any help, just let us know. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to make sure um, I'm going to have you call me so I can make sure I can't help you. Well, we're going to roll out. We have fuel, and I actually bought some ground right along the interstate. I wanted to be along the interstate so that way we could just hop, hop on on the roads. I want to be outside of town, have the farm right, right outside of town. It just seems the most efficient. So we got about 200 acres outside of here that I bought. And we're gonna build the we're gonna build the whole entire farm out of here. That's what I'm hoping. And right here is where it all starts. If I'm gonna build a farm, this is gonna be the farm we play forever. So I'm gonna build this farm the best I can. It's probably gonna take a while, but we actually have American sheds, so I'm excited to actually have that and build a true American farm. That's what I'm what I'm hoping for here. So we're gonna jump up to heaven and we're gonna start building this thing. <sighs> Cheating on her in her dream. Lord, it wasn't a thing I could do or say to change her mind in any way. She told me that things was gonna change. If I wanted her, I couldn't stay the same. So I stopped going. She was gonna leave, so I stopped going down Friday night. 
we're officially done with the farm design. That, mmm. I wanted to, I redid this farm so many times during that process. I probably cut it out during the time lapse too, but I just couldn't get it perfect. And this probably took me like three, this probably took me like three hours. It just, it, it frustrates me. Like we, obviously we have these American mods in there, like the sheds and stuff like that, but it just frustrates me how many times like we've asked and asked and asked for American stuff. And I don't even have like, obviously we have flowers, but it's tough. Like as far as like, I can't even get an American light pole in here or no American decorations or anything. So it's like, I'm just trying to make do with what I have. It's a little frustrating sometimes, but at least we got some nice sheds in here. Uh, obviously we have the house, we have hilltop up here. We have Rex, the dog. And then I want to kind of keep it nice with a white fence. So we actually have it to where you can put horses in here. So you can actually have horses in here and I guess they free roam. We'll figure it out. I don't think they'll go outside of the fence, but we'll see here. Uh, obviously, I want kind of timber to protect from the north and west winds here. So I put, you know, some trees behind the house. We got the 60 by 120 machine shed by Western Iowa Modding. They made this, and it's literally like my machine shed that I have in real life. 60 by 120. It's got a side door. It's got sliding doors. It's got two windows. Yeah, two windows on it. Then we got the shop over here. I kind of want things at an angle to switch things up, but they look pretty good um small shop but it gets the job done and then i put up another machine shed over here we probably won't use this one as much heck maybe we'll use it for like hay storage to be honest because it opens right here kind of out towards the cattle um too and then we have cattle and then we have four big bins which we'll have to use augers for so that's gonna be interesting it won't be you can't unload super easy we'll have to use augers for these bins some trees to just kind of protect from the Crazy guys that always drive by and stare at the farm. And then we got a snow fence in case it snows. That way all the snow doesn't blow right across the farm and I have to clean up the driveway too much. It'll it'll ha stop snow drifts like right at the fence. And then next next video will mainly be just getting a lot of equipment. We do need to put the duels on the 7150 Magnum. And then we got the Honda ATV. Love this little ATV. Now one thing Giants did do um, is they we actually have augers. Uh, we actually have augers. So I just purchased two augers and we're actually gonna bring them back and I just wanna make sure they can reach up to the, to the bins that we have. They should be able to reach up to the bins and then uh, we can get some augers set up. Let's see if this works. I did purchase a Case Magnum 7110. This is gonna be an auger tractor, maybe a planter tractor, we'll see. What the heck kind of contraption was that? It just automatically put this uh, two point draw bar on there and then it added a, what the heck? It added that attachment and the, that connected to the two-point draw bar. I have never seen that before. Interesting. This 7110 Magnum is definitely going to be the planter tractor. I love the two-wheel drive style. Got the duels. Oh, yeah. Every time I drive past those buildings, I'm like, Giants, why? Why couldn't have you at least allowed us to place those buildings in game? Would have made my farm look a ton more American. Ugh. Or even that building right there. Like, that's a true, you know, American machine shed right there. What? That's like a 60 by 200. But that would be perfect to be able to place down in game and use. And then swing. Oh, that's kind of neat. And then swing the auger out. I don't want to hit the duels, though. Well, awesome. We got the farm done, guys. Seriously, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this build. I love, like, actually doing these farms and making all the time lapse and trying to make an American farm. Like, that's my... That's my favorite thing to do, almost like building these farms. So, seriously, thanks for watching this one. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy episode number one of Roleplay. We're going to have many more coming. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.